So I just bought a recliner rocking chair. Let's check it out. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just realized that this says Evalor evolving with your baby. Now, you don't have to have a baby to buy this. They certainly didn't ask me for any proof. But what I was interested in is it says upholstered swivel glider chair. And as you can see there, it kind of looks like your regular standard chair, but it's a glider. It rocks. So I thought that would be really comfortable. I love rocking chairs, but I don't like the, the tracks underneath where my toes or fingers can get pinched. So I thought this might be a good addition to my bedroom, somewhere you can sit, kind of rock yourself in comfort go to sleep, recline, watch TV, those kinds of things. I don't think it's going to be very big, but the box that came in is pretty big. So they delivered it out here to the garage and that's where I'm going to unbox it and carry it in to the house and then assemble it there. So let's check it out. So we get the frame here. Looks like the arms already installed there. You can see where the back installs there. All right, so I've got it unboxed and brought into the room. There's really only two pieces, the base here and then the back. I want to show you the base here before I take the rest of it apart so that you can see how it works. You can see how it rocks like this. It's kind of backwards of a regular rocking chair. And then this platform base right here will rotate around too. So you can definitely move the chair around. So that's pretty cool. But you can see nice gliding action right there. Glides back and forth. I'll be looking forward to that. So let's get her set up. Okay, now to put the back on, you just drop it on these posts. There's some sleeves on the actual backing and I think they will just kind of clip into here. So here are the sleeves and they have a clip right there. So this is a toolless install. All right, let's get her on. Now you just push it down and, and for me, it helped to just bang on the top here. Bang, bang, bang. And that kind of pushed it down and I could hear it clip into place. Now we're just gonna drop this flap and it attaches with Velcro down here. And that's really it. That was a pretty easy assembly video. All right, after exerting myself, I deserve a little relaxation. It's actually pretty wide. I'm a pretty decently sized guy, so I fit in here just fine. And it's kind of at a nice rocking position. Just push off with my toes there and brings me back. It's actually much quieter and much more smooth than a traditional rocking chair. And I can pivot around here like I'm in the captain's chair on the Enterprise. But a couple things that it has is a pocket right here so I can put in my car and driver magazine right there. But then the other thing we have is this little plastic switch here. And if I go ahead and release that, you can see, ooh, this goes back pretty far. So this is pretty nice. Do you have to be skinny to use this? No, because I'm in it. It's actually got pretty nice length and height here. So me being five foot eight, I fit in here pretty good. Now the material, it kind of feels like a cotton, almost like a cross between a canvas and a denim. It's pretty soft and I actually like it better than say an imitation leather or something like that, but should breathe. And I think it's a really pretty tight weave here. So it should be pretty easy to clean up too. But uh, after assembling the easiest rocking chair in the world, I deserve a break. But if rocking and reclining is gonna make your life a little better, you can buy this chair too. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper. We can live better than